CGI, Computer Generated Imagery. It is no longer a term only used for massive budget production for Hollywood movies or video games. Many independent artists using 3D software to creating amazing animation and photorealistic images. Does a photographer really need to learn CGI and how to get it started? In this video, I will show you some of my personal stories and tips to help you understand CGI a little better from a product photographer's perspective. How's it going everyone? My name is Wimbo Zhao. I'm a commercial photographer and a 3D artist specializing in product photography based in Sydney, Australia. In this video, I'm going to answer some common questions to uncover my personal story of my CGI learning journey as a product photographer. First, why did I start learning CGI as a product photographer? Well, I was very passionate about creating amazing advertising images. But when I fresh out of art school, I had a very hard time to creating something really great with a reasonable production cost. Hiring a product stylist, buying props, or renting a big studio was not affordable for me, which made my earlier portfolio building process extremely challenging. Although I spent a lot of time learning Photoshop and advanced compositing techniques to really creating composited images to make it different. However, my early portfolio images are hardly meeting the high quality I was expected for advertising. So I have to find another way around. Then the 3D software and the CGI caught my attention. My digital camera, Blender, and Photoshop create a unique toolkit to allow me to create product images with endless possibilities. I can shoot my product images with my camera and creating a unique and interesting props in the background in Blender, then compositing them together inside Photoshop. So boom, job is done. So I'm pretty happy with that workflow. Second, why did I choose Blender to learn 3D over other 3D software? Well, choosing 3D software is like picking a camera system or brand when you're working as a photographer. There's no perfect camera or brand to fit every single photographer on earth. So you just need to pick one that fits your needs. The same concept applies to when you see like a 3D software. There are so many 3D softwares like Cinema 4D, Maya, Houdini, and 3D Max. The list is going on and on. As you know, there's no free professional camera for beginners to use when you start learning photography. You have to purchase a real camera. However, for 3D software, there's a very powerful free open source 3D software for beginners to use. It is called Blender. After Blender 2.8 version update, Blender has become a very powerful 3D software that covers most of my photographic needs. So I decided to test it out. I thought if it isn't working out, then I would lose nothing in my bank account, which ended up Blender become my favorite 3D software to use. Is Blender difficult to learn for photographers? I don't think so. There's always a learning curve for any new software. Remember the process of learning Photoshop? When you open Photoshop for the very first time, it was overwhelming or even intimidating. But with some proper learning and practice, Photoshop will become the best tool for retouching your product images. Blender will become your best friend as well in 3D. You need some motivations? I found Photoshop and Blender share some very similar principles when working with mask and photo cutout and color grading and more. And one of the biggest advantages for photographers to learning 3D software or CGI in general is the knowledge of gray lighting. Great lighting skill will really upgain your render result in the CGI, and which is already a big step ahead of others. How did I start learning Blender? I started watching so many hours of free content online to collecting 3D knowledge piece by piece. It was very time consuming. Then I started enrolling a bunch of paid Blender tutorials and courses. However, most of them are teaching character creation, cartoon animation, or a hard surface machinery beauty. It was not exactly what I wanted to learn, but I just keep learning, experimenting, and creating images that I dream to do with what I've learned over the years as a product photographer. More 3D content is coming up for product photographers, and it will help you to learn CGI more efficiently. 
Hopefully my stories and my problem solving process can really help you to consider learning 3D or CGI as a photographer. And if you like this video, please like and share. And also tell me in the comment section, what do you think about CGI? Any topic that you want to know more about Blender or CGI in general. My name is Wombo Zhao and I will see you in the next video. Bye.